by the end of this video, you will be able to export MIDI from FL Studio. Let's get started. So there might be times that you want to export the MIDI that you're working on in FL Studio. And once you've exported that MIDI, you can then import it into any DAW. You could also send it to people that you might be collaborating with. So in order to export MIDI from your FL Studio project, you want to go to your channel rack. And again, if you need to find your channel rack, you can just push this button right here and that will bring up your channel rack. And once you have your channel rack selected, you can then left click on the MIDI that you would like to export and that will bring up the piano roll. And once you have the piano roll up, you're going to go to the left hand corner here and you're going to left click and you're going to have that drop down and it's going to say file and then you're going to want to click on export as MIDI file. This will bring up the dialog box where you can now export it and I'm going to go ahead and name this as exported MIDI example. And once I have that named, I can then select the folder that I would like it to go into. So I'm going to go ahead and select that scores folder again. And then once you're happy with the folder that you'd like it to save to, you're going to click on save and make sure you have it selected as a MIDI file here instead of an FL Studio score. You want it to be a MIDI file so you can import it into other uh, DAWs. So I'm going to click on save. So now that I've exported that file, what I'd like to do is find it and I'm going to go to the folder that I saved it in. And then there you can see exported mini example. That's the one that I just did. And if I'd like to import that into a DAW or into FL Studio, uh, the easiest way to do this actually is to minimize this and then make FL Studio a little smaller so that you can click on the uh, MIDI file. So now I can import that into my FL Studio and all I need to do is just left click on the file and then I can drag it to the channel rack and you'll see that little green uh, line will show up and then now it will ask me the import of MIDI data. Um, the one that's sometimes checked here is that start new project. You're going to make sure that's not selected because I want this to be in this project. And I'll press accept and then now you can see that when I go to all of my uh, channel rack here you can see chords was also added and that's the same one that I just did. Another way to import that MIDI file is to go to the piano roll and so if I want to go to the piano roll, I can just click on this icon right here and then drop down the arrow there and then click on file, import mini file, and then I can select the file that way and press open. That will bring it in as well. And one final way you can import it is to go up to the file on the left hand side, import MIDI file, and then uh, you might it might have you actually start a new uh, channel here. So I'm actually going to not do that. So I'd actually want to keep it the way I had it here. So you now know how to export a MIDI file from FL Studio so they can use it in another DAW. If you made it this far into the video, you most likely are also interested in how to convert an audio file into MIDI using FL Studio. I have another video that covers this and I'll put a link to that video here.